Here we see an ellipse shape at the top and half an ellipse at the bottom of this cylinder. So we use the splat for drawing these, just like that. Let's start by drawing a full ellipse. Note where I put my pencil next, on the side. That's so I can slide the ellipse straight down and get it in line. Now I'm drawing half an ellipse at the bottom. So halfway up that ellipse is where I stop. Next use the side of the splat as a ruler and connect those two ellipses together. I say draw a line that just kisses the side of the ellipse. And boom, you've got a cylinder. Well done. Here we see the light source shining mostly on top of the cylinder. Can you place the number 1 and the number 2, the darker value? Right. So once will be once over with the pencil, and the 2 value means it's going to be a little darker. So nice and evenly shade in your number 1 value. And as even as you can for the number 2, I like to shade in the direction of the sides to try and get it even. Here I'm going a shading a second time over my number 2 value, which will be a little darker than the top. Nice and even. Now to make it look like it's 3D and curving away from you, I'm shading from the edges and working towards the middle and getting lighter and lighter. So that's my number 3 value and that's what makes a curved surface look curved. Let's go back to my number 1 value on top. I'm varying it a little by putting just a tiny bit of shading right at the back to add some more visual interest. Now it's time to run our cutting line right around the outside. So sharpen your pencils, use the splat as an option to tidy up those ellipses and any wayward lines. That's cool. Now we're going to use the splat again to add a little shadow line underneath. Here's a look again at the values that we apply to a cylinder rendered. 